Welcome, welcome, welcome back to your daily dose of misogyny. Yes, we're getting this one up there, up there. And in this episode, we have an extremely tall young lady. And she's looking for love. Let's see what happens on this one once again, guys. Remember that the link for the complete video will be in the description. And before you go ahead, check to ensure that you have subscribed. And also, if you like the content, go ahead and give me a comment and a follow and whatever you call it over here on YouTube. But let's go. Let's go. Young lady here. She's here to sweep the men off their feet. Let's get it. All right. Hello. Okay, all right. Um, can you please introduce yourself? Name, age, occupation? I'm Malaysia. I'm 29, and I am a bartender and a model. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, uh, Malaysia, what is your, your type? Um, nice dress. Um, polite. Generous. Just an opinion, but that I uh, don't look real. Just saying. That looks kind of BBL going on around the corner there. Yeah, it's one of those. Okay, and um, I'll also know, I would like to also know, what are your deal breakers, non-negotiables? Um, cheap, okay. not polite. Um, body odor, stink, you know, stuff like that. Okay. All right. That's good. All right. All the menus seem to still be on. Okay. So we got two balloons that pop. Let's go ahead and figure out why they pop the balloon. All right. Okay. okay. Let's move forward. Okay. All right. So we can start from here. All right. Can you introduce yourself, name, age, occupation, and why you pop the balloon? Name is Teddy, 34, um, working cybersecurity. She's gorgeous. She's just way too tall for me. And I can't, I'm not sure if I can carry you. No, you do look good, but you're just way too tall for me. It's a deal breaker. Wait, you said you're not sure if you can carry her? Yeah, because she's, she's tall. Okay. All right. I think you can carry her. You're uh, I don't deadlift. I, I, I bench, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to carry her. Okay. All right. How do you feel about that? Um... He's not confident with that in himself, so. Mm. And there you go. Directly and immediately into shaming tactics. Immediately into shaming tactics. And the interesting thing about that is height has been one of the biggest deal breakers for women. However, when a man says you are just too tall for me, you are then not confident. It's my choice to have a woman of a certain physique. But if you try to explain that to a lot of women, you're going to get yourself in hot water. And that's basically it. And this is the same thing that women choose for right his challenge is and this is what i always have said the less you speak the more effective and the more concrete the more your words will be taken seriously so for this gentleman i don't date women who are so much taller than me. Her physical attraction is not there for me. Full stop. I just don't deal with this type of woman. Full stop. Now, when you try to turn it into a comedic scene, this is where you open yourself up for the shaming tactics that she is displaying here. Just say what you have to say and keep it going but he opened himself up for shaming tactics by talking rubbish 
about I'm not sure I could lift her and all of that. I am not physically attracted to you. Full stop. Next, please. I mean, he seems... Uh, yeah. is, is he your type? No. Oh. No. Um, I do love his skin color. I just don't like the way he's dressed. Um, he's look kind of older. So, um, I don't know. I like a cute <laughs> face. You, you, know. you like a cute face? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by a cute face? Yeah. What do you mean by a cute face? Like Teddy has beautiful teeth, but um, his face was giving, he'd been through a lot. He's very uh, older, wiser man. Like, Girl, your voice is deeper than just about every man's undisguised. And no one chose to call you out for that. You have a physique that very few men find attractive. So when you are eliminating men on some weird, stupid shit, you need to get your ducks in a row. You know, he... He's been through a lot of years in his life. I mean, I was definitely very disappointed. I consider myself medium ugly. So I think I do pass the test when it comes to the scale of, you know, rating. So, you know, it, it is what it is. My brother, you were stupid in that interaction. Let's be clear. Let's be 100%. You were stupid in that interaction. You were for want of a better term, you were intimidated. And I saw the minute she came in, everything about you, you cracked like a nutmeg when you saw her. You were intimidated by Big Mama. Come on, brother. Let's keep it a buck. You know, I think because she's, she's too tall, I think maybe she took that very personal. But I, I think, she, of course, she's beautiful, but I, I consider myself medium ugly. He's not cute? No, not to me. Sorry. Well, I mean, she's gorgeous. She's just too Nice tall. teeth. I love Thank your you. teeth. Thank you. Amazing. I do love your nose piercings. Thank I think. you. Again, Thank I love you. your tattoos. You are gorgeous. You. Like, I love your energy, your passion. And there goes, there goes pandering 101. My brother, that is definite evidence of you being intimidated by this young lady. You may not have seen a lot of ladies this tall or not have interacted with a lot of ladies this tall, especially when she has such a deep voice. But this pandering, brother, it shows that you're sweating underneath there. Come on. Get yourself together, man. You're a disgrace at this point, if you ask me. Just to hide me. Yeah. Know? Yeah. A lot of guys is insecure, so totally I understand. Understand. Thank you. All right. I mean, um, also, I would like to know, do you, would you mind dating a guy that shorted you? It's no problem for me. Okay. All right. Love it. So let's go down and figure out why he popped his balloon as well. All right, um, name, age, occupation, and white fashion blue. who? I'm more 27. I bought because I'm just not attracted to you. Yeah. You look really pretty, though. Uh, sh I just didn't find her attractive. She's pretty, but just not for me. Like, I like everything about her, like the height, the tattoos, everything looks good, just not my type. Thank but, you. I mean, I'm just not attractive. That's about it. Um, okay. All right, um, you have any remarks? What do you think about him? Is he your type? You like him? I don't know if he's attracted to women. I mean, <laughs> the way he look, I want it. Well, hot damn. There you go. I mean, uh, ain't a lot to say on this one. She, I mean, she has come loaded. Interesting. You're not attracted to her, so she immediately assumes that you're not attracted to women. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my boy. <laughs> you got.
about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why, why don't you think that he's attracted to women? He's given me flamboyant in the way his he present himself. So, um, I'm sorry, no disrespect, nah, but I get it a lot. Uh, it's whatever. Um, people think I'm gay for whatever reason. I don't know. I take it as a compliment because uh, when I think of gay people, when I see them, they look like they take care of themselves. So. And some people don't. So when I hear that, it's kind of like a compliment. So it doesn't really bother me. Wow. Okay, well, that went left real quick. You're saying that when people call you gay, you take it as a compliment. Point taken. Oh, it's just all the jewelries and pearls, the hair color. He's into hair dye. I mean, it's giving soft boy era. It wasn't my speed. I love a man, man. Like, I like somebody that's, you know? Yeah. Then he's light skinned. Um, you get it a lot. When I look at people like you, that's what I see. Oh, so, like, a lot of people think that you're. Yeah, um, my, <laughs> yeah uh, my thing is I like pearls, so I wear it a lot, and I can probably, like, give off a different vibe, so, I mean, but, I mean, it's, it is what it is. Okay. All right, but can you clarify that? You're no, you're I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm straight. I'm not, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good to clarify that. We want to make sure, you know, okay? Yeah. All right, okay. Um, okay, that's unfortunate that, you know, it wasn't pairing, but we'll she go back. You said what? So she looked good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's move back and figure out. Okay. Um, if this, if these two other balloons could possibly be a match. All right. So now, this is a time for you to further get to know the guys. They already know a few things about you. So, um, can you please give us a question? Um. And then we'll get an answer. Any one of them? No. So you're gonna get a. You're gonna give us a question. And based on their answers, you're going to get, go ahead and eliminate one of these people, right? Do y'all mind dating a taller girl? Okay. It's not the first time I dated a tall girl. It's no problem with me whatsoever. We ain't got to worry about that. All right. Hello, my name is Kenny, and I love it. You love it? Yeah, you love dating sure. a taller woman? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. All right. I love, okay, right, let's come back. Let's come back. Okay. All right, so, I mean, what do you think about their answers? I mean, it was cute and like quick. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you you have another question. Um, do you have any children? Zero. Okay. Okay. Zero. Okay. And zero. Okay. All right. I, I mean, they're they're all passing. We need a we need a harder question here, right? You letting them off the hook too quick. Okay. So, so... Any, any other question? I'm a bartender. I stay on my feet long nights. Uh -huh. I like to get rubbed down for hours. Mm. Do you mind doing that for me? My ankles get swollen. Oh. I, 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 my back hurt. I'm a big girl. Do you mind rubbing me down for hours without having an attitude or being upset? <laughs> I see you. Now, before, before, we, before we continue on this one, it's interesting she said, I'm a bartender, I need to be massaged for hours. So the question is, how are you getting massaged at present? Who is doing these things now that you're requiring of your future partner, so to speak? Whatever way you're getting it done now, right? It should be an expectation that you can continue having it done this way until we are in a relationship and we are getting into a committed way then we can have these distinctions the truth is you cannot download everything onto a stranger in one go you can give them information that is pertinent for the relationship to move to the next step from one stage to the next stage, you impart information that takes the, the relationship 
to the next phase. Now, if you're saying to me, if she's saying that she's going to be working long hours and she's going to be coming home and then I am going to be spending hours massaging her, right? That means that is taking up away from me now being able to wake up early in the morning to go to my nine to five. It may be a little bit too much, you know, to be taking up this added responsibility for at this point, you are still not sure what you're getting back because she has not specifically said what she presents, how she treats her man in any direct way in her relationship. So that would be a pop for me, but let's get it. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so why'd you pop your balloon and, you know, you have something against rubbing a woman down? First of all, let me make this clear. I would love to rub you down all the time, mm -hmm. but it's not the place for that. Um, the star tender, you know, the bartender, star tender thing, been there, done that. I just, again, it's setting up phase of my life. You know, your career choice, your career choice, ain't nothing wrong with that. I think you're gorgeous. I love the height. I love all, all. It just ain't for me, honestly, right now. Um, he looked like my customers who come at my bars. So I'm kind of confused. And I said it in the beginning that I was a bartender and he let it slide. But then when I asked about the rubbing, he popped the balloon at the rubbing, like me getting rubbed down when I said that I work long hours. So I was kind of confused once again, light skin, flamboyant. So it was kind of like confusing. Coming down is not for you. No, nah, no. Nah, I just when you said the star tender thing, and I let you finish your thing. I didn't want to be rude and pop you mid sentence. I wanted to wait till you finish. That's all. I didn't want to be rude and interrupt you mid sentence. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Okay. Let's go down. Have one. Can you go ahead and also answer her question? We're rubbing, rubbing her down. Okay. So I'm Kenny, and yeah. I mean, so when it comes to giving her massages and whatever she wants, I mean, I, I would uh, appreciate doing that. This is what I like to do myself. Okay. But when it comes to the occupation, the career, the job, I don't really like that because I've been like, you know, in type of girls. I could take them as friends, but like not like a serious relationship. For sure. How do you feel about that? Um, would you like your man to make sure to love your occupation? And he don't have to love it. He has to know that. I'm just, I went to school for mixology, so. Oh. so I am um, gonna ask, uh, what actually do you do? You said bartender, like, what's the, like, you know, bartender, they're like different varieties. Bartenders depend the, okay. on the type, the club. Okay, so what, what's what the type, what, what are the type that you know of? Well, I mean, not, I'm gonna say all type, but different types. <laughs> okay, okay, so he's asking, what type of bartender are you? Um, so I currently run a bar in Brooklyn. It's called okay. Jigger Jerk Spot. I am the bar manager and I have bartenders. Oh, okay, okay. So it's a part of a restaurant mm -hmm. and I am promoting it crazy, going to radio stations. And also I, I do once in a blue work in the strip clubs and suite and bartending. Why am I not surprised? So I think a lot of times these terms as bartenders, models, and these kind of terms are basically meant to disguise the fact that we're looking at strippers. Because what I see here is someone who would fit a stripper pole. This looks like someone who does that. Initially, when I saw her come in, I mean, I understand that bartenders also present a particular way. But sometimes these terms are used deliberately to mislead, to say to you, I am not really a stripper, I am a bartender. However, the closer you get, the more you realize that that was a bait and switch. But let's get it going once again, man. We got to do it. We got to do it. And at this point, I would like to remind you guys to go ahead and hit the like, 
and the subscribe button and also if there's anything you find interesting so far go ahead and drop a comment down there but let's go once again your daily dose of misogyny let's get it there and different things like that but yeah and i do big parties as well okay all right how you feel about that so good okay all right so can we can you come back can you come back here all right can y'all two lovebirds come back here let's figure out if this could be a match all right it's a p possible match that we have here um We'll give you an opportunity, right, to ask her a question. Do you have any questions for her? Last minute questions. That's it. So I want to ask you, uh, what's your, are you God fearing? Like, oh, yeah, I was raised in a church. Okay. And uh, I was going to ask if you're family oriented. Um, yes. Um, I, I have, well, if you know, Christian family is judgmental, they don't appreciate, you know, me being a bartender. But, um, they accept it, and I do talk to my mom and dad every day. Um, my siblings is far away. I don't really get to talk to them. They're married. They got their own stuff going on. So I'm the baby. So, but when I do need to clock in with the family, they're right there, phone call away. Okay. All right. I, it seems like you love you love. So she says her family doesn't support her being a bartender but they accept it i highly doubt that it's the bartender aspect that the family has challenges with i strongly believe that it's the stripper aspect that they have challenges with once again the play on words and the bait and switch <laughs> but let's go Loving everything that you're yeah, doing, right? Sure. Okay, do you have any questions for you? Um, I want to know your sign. Uh, my sign. I'm a Taurus. Taurus? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. What, what, what do you like about Taurus? It seems like you like Taurus. I mean, I'm an Aries, so we're like right there. Okay. All right. You have you have a last minute question? Yeah, I was going to ask age. I didn't age. hear her age the last time. Um, so. I said I was 29. 29. Right, cool. Yeah. Okay. How old are you? I'm 25. Could you, do you mind giving a man, you know, that is interested in you a chance, although he's younger than you? Um, It depends on what he has to bring. Do you have your own car? Do you have your own apartment? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, so is this a match? Is this a match? One more question. Okay. <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the question here? I forgot, I'm cool. Okay, all right, so this is a match. Yeah. All right, so we have our second match. Yeah. All right, you can go ahead and. No. A couple things about this guy. I'm not seeing him portraying a masculine frame, number one. Secondly, he keeps double-checking and questioning his decision to accommodate her. You know, he doesn't seem like he's sure what he's doing. And it does, to me, reflect badly on him. For her, it's fine. It's clear what she's seeking. She's seeking someone to pay her way through, someone to provide her with an added source of income, and someone to just stand by her to be that boyfriend in name only for her. So it's fine for her, but for him, he has to show that masculine frame. So with all of that being said and done, you know, let's see what's happening over here. Once again, guys, please remember to go ahead and hit that notification bell and all of that good stuff. All right. So let's hear what's happening over on this side. What is your favorite thing about him? 
just just the man like mm. he's just tall and he gives a good vibe i like it okay all right so she mentioned that she wants somebody that's confident yeah are you confident enough for her for sure all right i mean she also said that she likes being carried up oh, oh yeah oh, would you yeah. be able to carry her 100 all right now you 100%. gotta show me you gotta you gotta show me <laughs> In the fast-paced world of industry, precision and efficiency are non-negotiable.